Hi everybody and welcome to today's Diesel DC. Diesel hotel tour. Let's take a look at the trusty Tomax Ironman in the year 2012. We are on Chincoteak Island and we are standing out on front of Maddox Boulevard. And we are at Chincoteak Island Vacation Cottages Rentals. And we are at the Ocean Cabanas. We are going to be touring Ocean Cabana number two. That's number one right there, the pink one. Number two is the cottage that we're staying in. This is going to be a full hotel tour of this cottage. Before we go on, look at that, there's a fire pit. Scooters are all over the place here. It's a very cozy little cottage with a screened-in porch. We'll go ahead and walk around the property. This is the outside of it. As you can tell, it's very blue. And as you can tell, yes, we have a guest. Candy cart, you're going to like this part because we're about to do a full tour here. You ready to see what's inside? These are very nice. Got a little table outside. Cottage number two. Let's so open the front door. This is the screened in porch area. Yes, I'm shooting an MPEG 4 in case I need to edit. These are our bicycles. Got a nice table out here on the, on the screened in porch. A barbecue grill. And here's two more bikes. The clock which is not telling the correct time. Now we are going to enter the cottage itself. We have Schlag, I think this is an Everest lock. Here we go. See, you stick the key in and turn it to open it. And we are greeted with some guests right here. Hi Elvis, or Yoshi, down, down boy. Sit, nope, down. And if I can do this, I get attacked by dogs. We'll pan and look at the living area. Let's see if I can turn the light. There we go. Very nice living area. Have a Toshiba CRT flat screen TV. There's the droid charge. I know y'all want me to turn it on. I'm only going to turn it on for a second. Alright. I'm talking over because I don't want any copyright claim. Okay, there. That's it. That's all you get to see. Got a window air conditioner here. It's very powerful. Holding it up with a street letterbox lock. Got a very nice Davenport, which let me see if it has a sofa sleeper. Yes, it does. As we go in here, you can see the kitchen area. Let's pan down here. Got a kitchen table that seats four. Here's the cupboard. It's almost like an old hutch. This is the kitchen sink. And I got a microwave oven here and a coffee pot. I do like this stove. This is one of those, I think it's like an infrared stove, because watch what happens when you turn it on. Here we go. Look how quick it heats up. Gosh, that's hot. The camera's picking it up before I can actually see it. That's how quick it heats up. You cut it off, goes out really quick. I really like this kind of stove. In here you got an over-under freezer and fridge, which is stocked with some of my favorite beverages, as you can see, Pepsi One. And there's the dog, once we get focus, there's the dogs in the bedroom. Get a view of the living room from this side. TJ, what do you think about this uh, lodging? There's your gas heater. Oh, up here is my 12-watt uh, preheat fluorescent shop light. So I guess we'll go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to move the camera up here to where you can see it. Here we go. 
I hope you saw that. See, this is why uh, Dave Lay made this for me. I just about tripped over a cooler. See, this is how I use that light. See, it's nice because it, it can be used for to reflect off the wall. Now we'll take a pan of the kitchen. Let's go check out the bedroom, shall we? First, this is a little map of the island we're on. We're on Chincoteague Island. And in here, let's turn on the light. Actually, the fan's on. I'll go in there and turn on the light in a second. It's got two twin beds with two dogs. Let's see if we can turn the light on. There we go. Now we got light. And in here, we have a dresser with another CRT TV. I'll go ahead and briefly demonstrate it here. Due to copyright issues, I'm only going to let it come on for just a second. It's still warming up. And you know how tube TVs take a minute. And there it is. Now we'll turn it off. There's no nightstand here. Look what he's growling at. The dog is barking and growling at the dog in the mirror. All right, and then here's the master bedroom. This is where I am staying with my wife. The ceiling fan in here is broken. It's got a nice, I'd say this is a double bed, but it's up high, look at that. Over here, you have a small nightstand with a lamp. You can look out the window. That dog sounds happy. Okay, and that's out the backyard. I don't know what that is over there. Is that like a mini golf place? Over here is a dresser. Small McDonald's lock and the regular McDonald's lock. Tom, does this look familiar? All right, and what would a hotel tour be like without turning on my 4-watt preheat fluorescent strip light with old Sylvania blacklight bulb? Here we go. That was awesome. Got dresser drawers here. Oh, I forgot to show you. This place does feature a closet. It's not a very big closet, but it's nice. Oh! Hey there. Uh, let's try that again. Hey there. Nice picture on the wall. So overall, this is a very nice pl Oh, I forgot about this. You gotta look in the bathroom. Here we go. Got a old wall mounted sink, standard hotel bathtub with your arched shower curtain like you find in most hotels. And watch this. Got a portable shower head. I guess that's maybe for ADA compliance. Although I don't know if this place is ADA compliant because you have to go up a step to get in it. Again, look at this small little sink. I'm willing to bet this, this place is from the 60s, maybe the 50s. Hey now, medicine cabinet, got a little mirror on the wall, makes it look bigger, look at that. Now for all you toilet fans, this is your favorite part, it's old American standard toilet. And like I said, I'm willing to bet this is from the 50s or 60s. See, look at that American standard. I don't know why my camera's having a hard time focusing today. No dog, you're not gonna drink out the commode. Ooh! That's uh, not supposed to be in there. We'll come back to this in a minute. While the toilet is filling up, we'll get one more look around here. I really like this place. For those of y'all thinking about vacationing, these cottages are a lot nicer than hotels because you have all your amenities of home, a full kitchen, and for this place, I think I only paid $500 for seven days, which is pretty affordable. So, and it's pet friendly, and the dog's checking out the bathtub. I don't know if the commode's full enough to flush again yet. This is definitely one of the older, probably you know, 3.5 or uh, 5 gallon per flush. 
you look in the tank real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's about ready for a flush. <coughs> so now that we have a clean toilet, here we go. And the dog is uh, just as curious about the commode as y'all are. Well, anyway, uh, this is going to be pretty much the conclusion of this hotel tour. One last thing I got to show you. I know TJ likes these. Look at this. We got a safe. I made the password very easy. Pull that to open it. And in there, you'll find my GPS unit. So, I hope you enjoyed today's Diesel DC Hotel Tour. And with that being said, that is it.